I was working with a client recently and he's at a point in his program that he is starting to do upright techniques because almost every PRI program is going to start with people on the ground, because either lying supine, face up, or side lying, and that is to eliminate as much of an effect of gravity as possible. And those positions, it allows you to isolate and recruit muscles that most people have no ability to recruit anymore um, because they are in a pattern. So the floor-based or ground-based techniques allow people to learn the mechanics of the techniques of hip shifting and side bending while recruit isolating and feeling the individual muscles that they then will need to be able to incorporate or recruit at the same time, integrate, while in more difficult positions, which are upright and seated. Now upright, you have an issue because gravity is now trying to push you down and your brain has a decision to make. Does it care about this funky PRI technique that you want it to recruit muscles in a particular way, in a particular order, or does it want to not fall? So if it doesn't want to fall and that's its main preoccupation, you'll just arch your back when you do it and you won't feel anything properly. So it's a, you know, you take baby steps, but this gentleman is upright and we were going over a technique and the technique has his left foot in front of his right. And we're discussing that as he is in this position and his body turns to the left, he should be able to feel certain muscles. But the way he was interpreting it was he would set himself up in the position and try to like flex his muscles to feel those muscles. I understand that that mindset because I had that mindset because anyone that comes out of strength and conditioning or physical fitness, which most people watching these videos probably are at one, you know, one level or another, uh, you think of feeling your muscles, but this is completely different. You know, when you hear the term neuromuscular, that means brain muscle, neuro brain muscle muscle. It's not muscular neuro in terms of the importance. Neuromuscular. You may see the word neuromuscular, understand that neuro means brain, but all you focus on, most people will, will focus on the muscular part. But this was never a muscular issue. This is not a muscular, uh, it is a neuro issue. And they are, you know, when I first hit, when I, the first seminar I ever took with, with the founder, he was quite clear. He said, this is neuro. This is a neurological issue. It's a pattern, a neuro pattern. Not a mus it is a muscular pattern, but you see, the, you see the muscular pattern of movement, but that's coming from the neurological brain that is commanding the muscles to do this particular thing. You can't inhibit or turn off a pattern of muscular activity without changing the input into the brain that the brain makes, that, makes decisions on how to organize muscular activity through the input that it's receiving. So to change the output, you need to change the input. So if you are using a pattern of right dominance, of right side activity to move even when you're on your left leg, you can't do that just by working on the muscles. You have to change the input that is going into the brain and mostly that the sensory input and mostly that is coming from the ground and the person's awareness of what they're body is doing. So their own positional sense, their interoceptive um, sense of their own body, which a lot of people have none, but that's where it's really coming from, those two areas. So what I taught him to do was quite simply just put his left foot in front of his right, sense the heel, sense the ground underneath his left heel, sense the ground underneath the arch of his right foot and the big toe of his right foot, and turn his pelvis to the left by shifting the left hip back. When he did that, he felt the muscles turn on. I feel my left hamstring. I feel my glute medius. I feel my adductor. If I just drop my left shoulder, there is my left abs. If I push my right big toe into the ground, and now I feel my right glute. At no point was I trying to feel those muscles. All I was doing was sensing the ground underneath my feet and the position of my body and placing my body in the proper position. At that point, the muscle has to turn on. So you're not searching for the muscles. The muscles have to be, they have to come to you via sensory input coming from the ground up and awareness of what your body is actually doing. 
Remember, this is not, this is much less, you have to, is there an element of biomechanics to this? Well, absolutely, yes. And the beginner courses, that's how they're taught, more from a biomechanical perspective. But after that, to really fully understand, you have to realize it's really neurological. It is, the upper level courses, it's all about the brain. And, you know, it's always about the brain because, again, that's the command center. You just, when you, you have to understand it appropriately and put it into the proper perspective to appreciate the fact that this is a neurological process that we're trying to reprogram, a neurological pattern that we're trying to reprogram, which will then allow the muscles to turn on effectively. And that's all we did. The only difference between what he was doing and what I told him to do was he was trying to feel his muscles directly. I was having him feel the ground underneath his feet and become aware of the position of his own body and relax. And at that point, at that point, his muscles turned on automatically. And that's how this really works. So that is just a, uh, oh, and if someone says, well, I can't feel those muscles, I feel my back or I don't feel anything. Well, that's why you need someone that can actually help you through the process because it's not so simple. Remember, if it's between, if the objective is between not falling down and the other choice is doing the technique properly, which most people are not gonna know how to do, your brain is just gonna arch your back. Every time you try to shift or do whatever you're gonna do, you're gonna arch your back, or the right side's not gonna turn off completely because that's the pattern. So uh, that's just really a demonstration, which might not demonstrate a whole lot if you can't do it, but theoretically, if you're trained properly, you should be able to feel your glute medius, your left abs, your left hamstring, and some left inner thigh, just by sensing the, and the right glute, just by sensing your right arch, your right big toe, the ground underneath your left heel, and by learning how to shift your pelvis to the left, left hip goes slightly back, drop your left shoulder a little bit, you're now in left stance, you should be able to feel all those muscles if you can relax enough to let that happen.